This recipe is called pollo alla milanese con spinaci, which is a breast chicken coated in breadcrumb served with spicy spinach and an Italian salsa. First of all, we got a breast chicken, which I put on top of clean film. So it's very important at this stage that the chicken does not touch the chopping board. Now, we're just gonna cover with another layer of clean film. And then what we want to do, we want to just bash it down so we make the chicken thinner. And there is a reason why I do that, because chicken, if you cook it for a long time, it gets very dry. By cooking very thinly, what's gonna happen? You cook it faster, so all the moisture is gonna be in there. So just bash it down. Okay, very happy with the chicken, and this is what you get. Now, once you are at this stage, just before we go through the impanatura with the breadcrumb, we need to make sure that the oil is hot. So what I got here, I got a frying pan, get olive oil, and please don't use the extra virgin because you're really gonna waste your money. So olive oil goes in there, and make sure that it's nice and hot. Okay, so now what we do, what we got here, we got plain flour, we got uh, an egg which has been beaten, and we got finally toasted breadcrumb, okay? And these are very, very simple to prepare. If you got any stale bread or leftover bread, cut them into chunk in the oven. Once they're all nice and colored, cool them down and then blitz them and you get this beautiful toasted bread which is gonna make all your food nice and crispy. Now, what we're gonna do, we get the chicken, okay? Throw away the clean film. Get the chicken, first of all, is gonna go into the flour. And this, in Italian, is called impanatura when you put into the flour, egg, and breadcrumb. So flour first, shake it, then it goes into the egg. And what's happened is the egg at this stage is gonna uh, act a little bit like glue because then when you put into the breadcrumb, the breadcrumb is gonna stick very, very easily. So in there, okay, like this, fantastico. Just make sure that you coat it well Okay, and this is prepared. This is how you have a beautiful pollo impanato, pollo alla milanese. Now, just before we put into the oil, let me give you a, a very quick tip. To check if the oil is ready, just put a few crumbs into the oil. And if you see that they start to sizzling, so that's mean that it's ready. So the oil is ready, I'm very happy with that. So pick up your chicken and it goes straight into the oil, like this. Of course, you touch the chicken, the raw chicken by now, so what you have to do, make sure that you wash your hand. Okay, so now I'm ready for the spinach. And the way I do it is very, very simple. A little bit of olive oil, garlic, chili, spinach goes in there, couple of minutes, job done. First of all, we got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, goes in there. Then we're gonna slice some garlic. Okay, I'm just using one clove of garlic. And the reason why I'm slicing it and not chopping it is because if one of your guests or yourself, you don't like the bits of garlic, you can always take them away. So garlic goes in there with a little bit of chili. And the chili, you can put as much or as little as you want, depending on how spicy you like your food. I like my spinach very picante, very spicy. As soon as it starts to sizzle the uh, garlic, then get your spinach. And I'm using baby spinach washed and just put them in there like this. Then a little bit of salt, and the job is done. Now, at this stage, what you want to do, you want to make sure that you mix everything together, like this. But then, as soon as you get the heat in the pan, very simply what I do, switch off and allow the spinach to cook in the remaining heat of the pan. Of course, do keep an eye on the chicken. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful, golden, crispy, bubbling. This looks absolutely perfect. Now let me show you how I prepare the Italian salsa. First of all, I got some tomato. You can use a plum tomato or a round tomato, whatever you fancy. Chop it up, roughly chopped. Remember, this is a rustic dish. So it goes into a bowl. And then we got some olives. Uh, in this case, I'm using Kalamata pitted olives, which I chopped up. But um, you can use any black olive, just make sure that whenever you use olives, they don't look too black. Never trust 
a black olive. An o black olive should have a, a great aubergine color. So once you put this one in there, we just want to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And we use extra virgin because we are dressing. Like this, a little touch of pepper and a little bit of salt. And then we go fresh basil leaves. What you want to do, just pick them up and turn them like this, straight into the salsa. Now you can prepare this salsa a good 20 minutes ahead. Just toss everything together and this is ready to be served. So the salsa ready, the spinach are ready. Just double check in the chicken. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Golden, crispy, the chicken is going to be moisture in the middle, fantastico. Just what you want to do, put it into a plate with a little bit of uh, um, kitchen paper and pat it down. Make sure if there is any excess oil, you actually capture it with the paper. So just pat it down like that. Now the only thing we have to do is to serve it. So the first thing we're going to do is get the chicken straight into the plate on one side. Then we're going to put the spinach. Have a look at the spinach. You got the garlic, you got the chili, bags and bags of flavors here. Spinach goes in there. And then just to top it up, we're going to put a little bit of the Italian salsa on top. Guys, this is how you make pollo alla milanese con spinaci.